Welcome to part two of my Making Room for Love in 2021 video series. If you've not watched part one, make sure to connect to the playlist and the link below. But in this particular video, I'm going to show you and take you right into my bedroom and into my own bed and show you how to clear karmic energy from your bed so that you can create space to bring and call love into your life. This is the most raw and the most real I have been on my journey of making videos thus far. So please let me know what you think about this video and about if it's helped you because I'm being called to do this. And I'm definitely not getting this raw for my own in, in need. So I would love your feedback. Stay tuned. So I come to you today very open, raw, and real in my femininity, and I just got back from a deep tissue massage that's part of my purge, my sacred cleanse that I've been doing, and as I record this, this is New Year's Eve here in 2020, and I felt guided to show you uh, some behind the scenes of some things that I'm doing to create space in my physical space, in my sanctuary, in my bedroom, and what I'm going to do to cleanse, clear the space, as well as what I'm going to do to call in the new energy that I want to bring into my life. So this is part of a series that I've been guided to do as I'm on day four of my creating sacred space in my physical reality at the same time that I have actually am purging my physical space to create a sanctuary to call in love into my life and to call in love into my sacred sanctuary and into my sacred sanctuary being part of the, the bed. And so just know that I actually have done this. I do this more than like, I do this frequently as far as cleansing and clearing my sacred space as you probably do. But this year, because I feel like the theme is for 2021 to call in love, I've been guided to call that love in to my sacred space and into my bed room and bed. And which by the way, this is my money section this whole room here is the money section uh, on the bagua map in feng shui for my entire space so this year is all about abundance so i'm looking at calling in abundance in all forms of in my life as far as you know financial relationships as far as you know friendships and loved ones and of course beloved but most importantly the self-love that I have for myself I had to step away from my father being very ill this last week and actually had surgery because I'm like it is time for me to I was being so called to be home to purge on such a deep deep level so as I said, this is day four of that and I've been doing a lot of juicing and uh, very light food, if any, and I'll be sharing, uh, this is probably going to be part two or three of the series that I'm going to share with you. So I'm not sure where I'll share that or not, probably will have shared it by now, but because this is sort of like the purge, the, the, some final touches to some of the purge I've done because I've literally already at this point cleared out my closet, which is where I started. I cleared out this bedroom. Um, I cleared up my master bath. And whenever I get done, because this will summarize my grand finale of this section of my, my physical space, um, I'll give you a grand tour of like what it, it looks like through the process of having been done. So let's just get started then. And I invite you to consider doing this for your new self, your new year, and the new world and the new energy that you can call in, okay? 
So I'm not even 100% sure, 100% sure how this is going to go because this is very guided and intuitive as always. So again, I'm bringing you behind the scenes as I'm literally doing this for my space. So right now I feel guided to call in the guides and the angels. And I'm just going to pause for a minute and bring that love and light into the space. And I could see the diamond light coming in. And I could see the crystalline light from the core of Mother Earth coming in and creating four pillars into this space, anchoring that diamond light in, through, and around this room, going all the way down and connecting to the crystalline core of Mother Earth. And it, I see it as like this tent, a pyramid diamond shape coming over through the entire room, creating the canopy with the bed kind of being the central point, the focal point of the sacred sanctuary for sacred love, for a sacred partner. That is one thing for me personally, I don't need a partner, a sacred partner, because I'm very content on my own. But I know that I have to create space for it. And I know that I'm getting ready for that next level because I'm up leveling. So while in the first part of this year, I can see some major deep transformational things in my physical reality around me and my personal physical self, and actually knowing that love is a journey, it's not a destination. So I am not waiting for someone to come in. I literally feel like I'm going to enjoy the process. In fact, it's so sacred it's like I don't really care to have that sacred partner yet because the sacredness connected to myself feels so sacred that I want to savor that connection to me. And I feel like that doing that is going to align me even and tap me into a greater sense of a connection with source. And then I feel like that then is going to bring in the beloved and the sacred highest vibrational partner of this lifetime, which is what I'm calling in for myself. I'm calling in the one that matches my highest vibration. There is no face to that. There is no attachment to the label of the twin flame. You know, I have detached from those parts of those lower vibrational concept of being attached to something that would make me happy. And I have found the gift in it and I have found the power in it and I have found and see that every ascension teacher I've had has been a reflection of me and has been a part of me and I have gratitude for every one of them um, that I'll probably share more about even that at some point in the journey as well but uh, right now I feel really guided to not so much catch up but pull you in at a place of now and where I am so I can feel the energy really coming in right now. Like I'm gonna pause for a minute because this is a download coming through and it's coming into that pivotal point of the pyramid, that canopy, and it's a canopy over this room. And again, it's anchored into all four corners. And I can feel that all the angels are coming through to really celebrate is what it feels like. Celebrate the idea that I have made it to this sacred place within myself to, to enjoy the idea to have the sacred sense of self. Okay, so I want to go ahead and get moving here because I'm going to show you how to clear this bed in multiple ways and multiple levels and multiple things that mostly I've done, but some new things I'm going to add to that. So we're going to start by actually with some sage and as I do this I'm going to call upon all the guides and angels to be clearing any energy any lower vibrations anything that is connected to things that no longer serves my highest potential my highest version of me that no longer supports me that we're going to ask that those things just be cut ties to cleansed any people partners any types of connection to energies that I have been bound to that's even been collective that's been clearing this collective space that I clear so I'm, again just starting to sage here 
and um, it's got white sage. I use different types of sage at diff different times, but. And just breathing in here. And this doesn't have to like take, you don't have to spend a long time in this, but more in a sense that it's intention behind all of this that matters and makes it work. So my intention is to cut ties to anything that's no longer serving or supporting me from my highest good. And I'm gonna call that in for Champ too, because he is also my soul partner. And he has, he helps me, his middle name's Avalon, and we, you know, connect to Avalon together. So he, his energy is in this space with me. And so I want to call in his energy to be clear and anything he's tied to to be cut as well in the process of this you know when we sleep we sleep and do soul travel and do clearing of energy in our sleep so it's important to clear your bed on a regular basis just so you know i've already done a lot of prep work as far as I have cleared the space once but I wanted to do a final grand finale of some different like different types of clearing at the end here and I wanted to just do this as my final piece and connection to my sanctuary here <laughs> champ is sniffing so now Got that sage, and I'm gonna use two to three types of sound here. I'm gonna start with a heavy sound that is going to break up the energy. The dense energy, to get rid of all the dense energy. I'm gonna ask that it be transmuted, sent back to the center of the stratosphere to be healed, cleared, and transmuted with love. feel lighter already and my massage was so awesome it really helped release some of the tension I had from all the major cleaning I was doing and the purging I've been doing this week I'm going to do a medium type sound now I've also been playing different types of goddess videos in here this week while I've been purging and I probably would do it while I was here now. But I'd have to use my phone and plus you wouldn't be able to hear me as well. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead now and start, that's some of the masculine. The other thing about this is I'm doing this based on a masculine and feminine connection here. So, like everything is going to be balanced because I'm calling in the energy of my balanced masculine and feminine energy to be balanced and then calling in a balanced partner. This is the feminine side. Which, by the way, as I said, I just got back from a massage, so... I literally have bed head <laughs> and um, from bed before I went to the massage. So I'm getting an adjustment this afternoon and I'm going to yoga this evening to do a New Year's Eve toast at yoga. So this is beautiful harmony balls. Call in that harmonic energy, connecting to the grid that we have here that is forming inside of my room and inside of my bed. 
can see this crystalline grid taking place. So those four pillars are creating a unified field in my room. All right, so awesome. Okay, so now I feel like doing a clearing for myself one second. So I'm gonna I use some, I did sage before when I was getting ready. I'm gonna use some white sage spray to clear. Oh, much lighter. And I also felt guarded. I put some oils over here that I felt guarded to use through this. And right now I feel one that's called enlightenment. I'm going to use that oil on my neck where she did some really deep tissue massage to help clear some things associated with my neck trauma that I had when I was younger. That I discovered there's more healing to be done with my daughter because I was pregnant with her. And to this day, she is traumatized by driving and fearful of accidents and I'm still working on clearing the physical connection to the twin flame journey from my neck persecution and then I really anchored it down to being like oh wow that's connected to my daughter took that on as far as our healing together so okay so now I have some stones that I'm going to place underneath here Something that's very, very important as a chiropractor, um, I was shown, or I know, I should say, that your bed is the most important thing of your life, second to, um, like say, your, your daily activities, when you have things that you, you want to be stressless. When you go to bed at night, it is basically one third of your life, technically, should be in bed. So it's very important that you have a very good mattress, something that's very comfortable. This is a topper here that when I moved in here, I purchased that's a beauty, Simmons Beauty Rest topper. It was about $300 just for this topper, but it's a, the Tempur-Pedic is very good. Um, it's got some really good bases under here, but personally like i and i live in this space that eventually i'll probably give you the grand tour that i feel very blessed to live in 90 percent of it is furnished so for my own bed though two main beds that are very good which when i moved here i got rid of those beds and then these became new because i didn't want to take that space with me so if you are in a bed that you have with your ex-partner or you've had sex a lot of partners in it you for sure want to clear, but I would recommend you get a new bed because that bed could be still holding the energy that's going into your field and reprogramming you every night to the past and the crap and the karma. And you have enough of that you're clearing anyway that's coming out and absorbing into all of this, which is why it's so important to do this. But if it's got all of that energy in it from past relationships, you really want to get rid of it. So when I moved here, I got rid of the bed and I didn't, was not going to bring that energy with me. But anyway, so the two best beds I found in my research, there's a lot of newer beds out there now, but as a chiropractor in my background, when I did a lot of research and recommended for patients was the Simmons Beauty Rest and the Sealy Posturepedic. Those were two of the best beds out there that, and, and, and I've had both of those. And people that have slept in both of those have said, oh my gosh, like they, it's amazing. So um, consider that and make sure that you have a really good place to sleep being it's supposed to be a third of your life in bed. So now I'm going to take under this topper and place some stones I have. And I'll tell you what they are as I'm doing it and why. So one of the first things I'm going to place at the base of this is going to be some boji. I'll kind of put these up here where you can see this. Some boji stones. Boji stones represent masculine and feminine energy. And there's a smooth one that's the feminine, which actually this one's bigger, and the masculine is rougher. And it represents masculine and feminine balance. And they're good grounding and, and earth stones. And they bring balance. So I'm gonna put this about where my root chakra would be down here. And I'm going to put, 
I'm going to actually, my right side being masculine, put the feminine and my left um, side with the feminine side, put the masculine to bring balance to my root chakra. Then as I go up, I'm going to go ahead and place some very strategic stones intentionally. I'm going to go up to the sacral chakra and I have a couple, and I'm going to do this in pairs on some of these because that's a pair. And then I have a couple tiny citrine stones that I want to use for the sacral to create abundance and creativity for the sacral chakra. And then for the the solar plexus I'm going to create, I have one and it's bigger and it's a, it's like a tiger's eye. And um, I'm going to use this for power within the solar plexus, making a little grid under here. And then I'm going to go up into the heart. And in the heart, I have um, two different rainbow moonstones, heart shaped, representing two enlightened hearts coming together as one and also bringing balance the moonstones balance and the, the the rainbow moonstone represents um like the feminine side of that meaning you're coming into harmonic the feminine side's coming into har harmony my sheets just kicked off i had them in the dryer and I bought new ones that I'm going to share with you. So these are rainbow labradorite. I feel guided to do this for, for throat. Okay. And I'm going to bring this up into the throat. And actually, as I say that, what I feel guided in that is, even though I'm doing it for throat, to me, what I'm feeling coming through, it's representing a connection to the higher heart. And the higher heart being an opportunity to um, um, bring in as the heart becomes the root chakra, connecting more to the higher heart for more compassion, but being able to speak from the heart. And so then I have a little strip of selenite just for some clearing that I'm going to do up in the third eye area. And I'm also going to, in that, I'm going to use just a little bit of a obsidian stone with some selenite and obsidian that I'm going to create like a clearing for the third eye. And then I have a clear quartz that I'm going to go ahead and use for the, the crown and because clarity, I want to bring nothing but clarity into my life. And I just want to say what I just told you, I just grabbed stones because I was guided. I didn't know why. So me sitting here telling you why I'm using them is just not coming through. So now we're going to go ahead and do another little bit of a different type of clearing here. I'm going to spritz with a little bit of different white sage here again. And then I feel guided to use a little bit of harmony blend it's my own personal blend that i created harmony and then oh this is the feminine way to do things i take more breaks than i used to so i've been drinking beet juice today since i got back so i'm gonna have a sip of beet juice Yum. It's very good. It's got beets and apple and carrot. And I also was going to light up here. I have an elephant up here that's a um, incense burner and has a cone in it. And I forgot to light it. So I'm going to light it now. And let that come down here so you can see it. Here we go. And that is Nag Champa, just so you know. It's, it's very earthy and it's one of my favorites. Okay, so now I feel guided to use some Lemuria 
and Atlantis spray. I got this in Avalon, the Isle of Avalon in Glastonbury when I went there a couple years ago. Also bringing balance to the past energies to the present of bringing in the balance between the masculine destruction of Atlantis and the feminine fall of Lemuria, but anchoring back to them and bringing them in in a new loving way. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of rose water, but actually I feel guided to use some rose water as I layer the bed. So um, I'm going to start by putting on my mattress pad that I had already pre washed and air dried for a couple days. And I, while well, putting this on, I will just tell you that I purchased new silk sheets that came in yesterday when I was doing this all on Monday when this started because this all came in just intuitively guided. There was nothing specifically about it that I planned. Okay, so I lost my mic. I just wanted to fix it and I got my sheets out of the dryer while I was doing that. And so anyway, as I was saying, I actually felt guided to get silk sheets because I felt like that was very sensual. Um, and also would be reflect something that would be fun with a sacred partner. So I got silk sheets, new ones. And I'm going to put them on now. Let's see, is that the, oh, that's the top sheet. So I'm really excited to get this part done because back about I want to say 2004, it might have even been three, I had just gotten a divorce and at the time I didn't know about, didn't think about really clearing out the bed and I kept the bed I have, but I got new bedding and the bedding I purchased was not cheap at all. And um, when I say bedding, like all of the entire, you know, comforter and the pillows and the shams and like all that stuff. So several years ago after Champ, I had taken it off because of him getting hair in places and doing things and when I moved in here, I just never used it again because basically because of that, because I actually did put it together and I thought, oh, well, that's so pretty. And then, then it came down to, as I mentioned, oh, just making sure I didn't lose my mic again. It came down to the same thing, like, like, you know, he sheds and that's a, very expensive set to get hair on. Well, I bought it actually at New Year's too. And you got to realize where I was at at the time that I spent that amount of money on it, that it was an upgrade in my life on many levels. And so I would, I would always buy the cheapest of everything. I would settle for less than what I deserved or maybe what I liked and desired just because I didn't want to pay that amount of money for whatever it was. So me letting myself have that comforter and those pillows, knowing that it represented like luxury and royalty and linking that to where I was at my life at that time. It was like an intention that I had set always, every time I got in bed, I would just have that gratitude of like, oh my God, I allowed myself to have something that I never wouldn't have normally allowed myself to have. So 
in allowing myself to have that and to like go to bed every night in gratitude and in luxury was something that I had adopted and it just really brought so much to my life at the time. Well, here I am up leveling again and I knew I wanted to clear this bed. I knew I wanted to purge some things and get my space. I moved lots of things around in my space. So not only did I get rid of things, but I actually moved things around that I had already had. And um, so basically then um, I knew that I kind of wanted to do something with this bed. And what really triggered it was is because I almost had the idea that like, oh, well, that's taking up space in the closet. It's a really big set and all those pillows and all that is taking up all the space. Well, why not just get rid of it since I'm getting rid of stuff? And then I had the idea, well, why get rid of it? Like, why not repurpose it and use it and sleep in royalty every night? And, you know, I'm preparing to move at some point anyway in the process of this. And move meaning like another state for sure. Like if I, I won't move locally because I just love where I'm at and I love this space. But like why not just go ahead and use it. And to do that then enjoy it. And not worry like what happens to it with getting hair on it with Champ. Because I would never get the money back out of it. No one would ever like um, basically enjoy it the way I do. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to spray some rose spray on here. And so that just prompted me to get these sheets to do this little ceremony and to move things around in my place and space to repurpose everything, to create it and set it up from a feng shui place and to create space in my sanctuary here of my private space for not just myself to enjoy it, but to create the space to invite love in of its highest form and order. So that's what I'm like suggesting that you maybe do or that might be something that's would benefit you to cut ties on this journey that you've been on that's caused you like pain and suffering. Now look at how rich this looks. I can't wait to get on here and show you. But actually I'm gonna have to turn it because I've got it the wrong way. Also another thing is this is a queen bed and this is a king comforter. But it actually looks, and I've had it on here before, it actually looks nicer because it gives more room and space to drape down. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm getting excited just seeing this on here. It's just so pretty. This camera probably will not even do it justice, but I'll give you a grant. I'll, I'll get it close up or make sure you can see it really good once I get out of here and show it to you. And just want to get it even from side to side here. There we go. And we're going to bring it down a little bit here in this way. I'm excited for you guys because somehow I feel I was really guided to do this and I think that it's very important that you guys consider clean clearing your own space. I'm just going to straighten that back up and turn this like that. And it's going to make me feel like I'm waking up all abundant every day. And it's going to feel so luxurious to sleep in at night. And you definitely want to spritz and spray and think about clearing your bed on a daily basis. But like really good 
like change your sheets often, like a minimum of weekly. But if you're doing a lot of purging and clearing karma, you may want to clean and clear and spritz your bed like a couple times a week, like wash your sheets. Okay, so get my other pillows up here. I have two bamboo pillows that are really not good on my neck, but they look good on the bed. So I use them to prop up at night, but I don't sleep with it. And it's getting warm in here, so, which by the way, I got to tell you about my switch shirt I put on this morning. I thought, how appropriate. <laughs> and the very front here says predestined and down this side of the arm, it says free will. <laughs> the polar opposites, right? <laughs> So, you know, we do have a predestined journey in some ways because we chose to experience certain things that we want to experience and that our soul wants to experience. But really where the free will comes in is our ability to let go and surrender and to know that how we go about that journey is something that is our choice in how we get there. And that's why in this whole twin flame journey, it's really, you know, kind of hard because you might have contracted with your twin to experience certain things that definitely are lessons. That doesn't necessarily mean that that was in the cards that you were to be together in this particular life or not because it's the bigger mission. But on the flip side of that, you want you might be ready and want them, but they have their free will to make make the choice differently. So the sooner you can realize that this journey is about you, the better off you will be. And somewhere in this, I've lost a bookcase. Um, so I'm going to put that there for now. And I don't know if it's still in the dryer or underneath of there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that there for now. In fact, here's what I'm gonna do because I wanna at least get the fact of it. Going to put this one on that. So the top one has more of the decorative color this is like a champagne gold and it might look a little different than the gold on here but the pillows that i have which really make all of this and these sheets feel amazing so silky they are more of a champagne gold than that gold Okay, so here's the part and the fun part to top it off. Let's put this on here. Something else I did in my purge of cleaning from top to bottom, from cobwebs to baseboards and everything in between, I fixed anything that might need fixed at the same time. I look at that, as, you can't see it, and I'll show you when I give you the tour. This light up here has these little little jewels hanging down and one of them had fell off so before i got all this done i'm like when it fell off i just stuck it in a drawer well i'm like no that's gonna get fixed so i fixed the jewel on that light at the same time so ever there's nothing left to do as i've been saying in in my other videos and um, i hope that you're enjoying this opportunity to come behind the scenes and to really see like definitely some sacred space in my life when you're seeing my bed here um but i also have been guided in a way to share things in a new way that i had already been feeling i just didn't know when it was time or when the time would be right to do that and as i've been going through this journey and this upgrade i was just totally guided to come to you guys today and share with you my sacred space or as I do this. So, voila. And I will give you the grand tour in a minute. But to top this off, I have, I'm going to be doing this on my floors too, um, 
So tomorrow, like today, I'm just dotting I's, crossing T's, possibly to clean another bathroom. And then I'm going to be cleaning and clearing my main space. In fact, most likely I'm going to clean my main space, a good cleaning, um, maybe not as much top to bottom. Well, even if it is top to bottom, it's okay because it's much simpler than what I've already done. And then I'll do the bathroom. And then I'm going to save my office space for last. And that's the only closet in there I have left to do. But um, I have, and I'm going to use this, this basil water that is for prosperity and luck. And it's going to be, it, they recommend at the new year to clean your floors, clean your space and mop your floors in basil water. So I'm going to make a mop water out of this basil. This is concentrated basil and oh my God, it smells so good. I just got to get a smell of it here. Oh, it smells like it has a, like a little bit of licorice or something in it too. Anyway, I took this basil water that's concentrated and I made me a spray bottle of basil water uh, with some distilled water mixed with that, which by the way, I've been drinking tons and tons of water and again, tons and tons of juice these last four days that I've been purging and um, mix that spray for abundance and I'm going to use it to start spritzing my bed every morning. So Woo, smells so good. So it's again, bringing abundance into my life, into my sacred space, into my bed and into my sacred union that is coming when the time is right. So, ooh, I got, oh my gosh, this smells so good. All right, I'll make sure to post something about this so you can know like what this is because it smells so freaking good. Um, but anyway, kind of just to sum this up, make sure that you, this new year would be a perfect time to do what I did and strip from top to bottom and do whatever is intuitive to you. Then to maintain this, you know, do it with something that's very, the, the gratitude part. I had went to a seminar just before I bought this. It was a chiropractic seminar I attended and the speaker, which I loved, um, his name is Keith Mall, and he was talking about spend the extra 50 cents and to really make your bed a sanctuary in order to give you a place of gratitude to spend a third of your life. And that is what I did. And I had to really stretch just to allow myself to have this that many years ago. And now it's like, to repurpose it in a new way and look back, like even what I went through then, I'm going through again. So now it's not even about actually the investment because now investment wise, technically that wouldn't be an issue. But what's really cool is that I'm receiving the gift twice because I'm getting the memory of it. I'm getting to actually use it and you get what you pay for because this looks brand spanking new and I bought it in around 2004. So that's like 15 years and it's like just royal. And so, but maintenance wise, spritz and spray yourself, your aura and your bed every night and every morning with some kind of like a white sage or you can take rubbing alcohol mixed with distilled water and lavender or some whatever resonates with you for an essential oil. Wash your sheets a minimum of one time a week, but if you're doing a lot of clearing and maybe having a lot of dreams and doing karmic clearing in your sleep because we do space travel as well. So, you know, us light workers are usually doing shadow work at night. My shadow work now is different than it used to be. I used to wake up with downloads constantly, like, and it was just draining because I could never sleep to get downloads. Now I sleep really good most of the time and um but maintain it once a week to change your sheets and cleanse and clear your bed like i did maybe like once a month would be really good so happy new year to you guys please let me know what you think about this more behind the scenes vlog and um, expect more transformational tips that are my real live examples and watching me in motion as I deliver more authentic as I go forward in my personal feminine 
sexual and sensuality. Much love to you guys. Happy New Year. Stay tuned for part three as I take you inside my sacred sanctuary and let you see what it looks like now that I've completed the purge.